Hi guys, hey, Philip here with Authentic Imaging and you know, today I happen to um, need to find a UPS store to drop off a package I'm returning from uh, Amazon. And um, so I'm at home right now and I pretty much uh, ended up searching you know, the closest UPS store by me. And um, the results I get, I've always wondered how different it would be based on my location so today in this video I'm gonna walk you through and show you exactly what happens when you search for a service provider based on your location so let's take a look okay so in Google I'm just gonna type in here uh, UPS stores near me Okay, and um, as usual, you know, it shows um, the Google Maps, uh, and then this this is organic search results. So we'll click we'll click on the Google Maps, and based on my location currently, you know, it shows it shows me all these UPS stores, um, and I'll show you a neat trick here. If I start zooming in. See that uh, the sidebar here keeps changing. If I move to the east, if I move the map, each time I move the map, <coughs> what it's doing is it's it's giving me five mile radius increment each each time I move the map. Okay, so based on your location, you know if you were somewhere in Lockwood. And you did a search for UPS stores near near me. There's a likelihood that you know it's gonna it's gonna give you this UPS store. Okay, uh, but what one thing you need to know is that you know Google on, only knows um, stores that have identified themselves as UPS store. So what that means is if you are a business and you haven't claimed your Google my business page listings um, you might be even closer than this store here but Google is going to push users to uh, the store that's pretty much claimed uh, their listings on Google Maps okay so an easy way to claim your Google Maps is you you pretty much go in and type in uh, uh, google.com forward slash businesses okay it brings you here and then you can sign up uh, and claim your listings okay so that's that's another easy way to do that <clears throat> um, so with Google Maps um, when you claim your listings and I'll show you here real quick what you should expect is when you claim your listings it's gonna allow you to you know update your name your business name um, your business address you know your your open and close times throughout the week and then your phone number and web address okay so if someone goes in and say types in your phone number okay 406 um, this is my business phone number uh, Google will be able to identify me with my business number okay um, same thing with the address okay so if I type in um, 1500 Poly Drive Billings Montana and um, I mean suite 202 there's a lot of businesses within this address so I'm gonna add my sweet number sweet 202 Billings Montana zip code 59102 okay and I hit search it brings me up okay um, if I happen to take this out uh, the suite number or if I haven't identified myself um, 
on Google and I happen to type my address you know is the it doesn't it doesn't show me at all okay so that's why it's really important that uh, your business plus page uh, you know my business page is uh, uh, claimed and that way you can heavily increase your visibility online okay guys and then the, the last point I'll be talking to you guys about is insights and why this is also really important so insights gives you um, reports and data on activities going on on your Google my business page um, from Google okay so Google will give you information on you know direct visits you know people that found you based on them already knowing you um, versus discovery people that are uh, discovering you for the first time okay uh, this is uh, this is incredible data for people that are investing in a lot of digital marketing I want to know how how traffic you know true traffic is coming to their website okay so this is this is really good um, the other the, the next thing it, it shows you is uh, where your customers view your business on on Google okay um, typically you're gonna see your listings on search results always superseding your listings on Google Maps okay but in actual uh, the actual the true results of your listings on uh, on the search results is based on your your visibility on Google Maps okay when Google um, when you claim your business and you identify yourself as a as a service provider within a local radius Google is able to bump up your search results more okay so again when you're interpreting this data um, it's normal to, to have a low uh, listings on Google map uh, views versus listings on Google search okay so uh, the next thing is customer interactions uh, and actions you know the visits visits to your site uh, the request for directions the calls uh, and it varies on the type of business you do you know if you are pretty much a brick and mortar store that um, you sell physical goods that um, people walk in to purchase um, you're gonna see a spike in you know calls um, and you're gonna see a spike in you know request directions and stuff like that so it's it's very relative based on the type of business that you do but all these data it's free and it's available to you okay um, if you come down here if you optimize your um, your my business page with with uh, photos you know photos of your of your team of your business location Google tends to give you way more exposure compared to uh, businesses like me okay so you can see here I'm pretty much outperforming them more than 100% in terms of uh, um, the exposure I get because of the pictures I, I I have optimized on my Google my business page okay um, and then they take a look at the photo quality as well you know you just don't want to stick any photo up, uh, up there you want to make sure your photos look good and it has uh, uh, values and I'll show you real quick here how my photos look like uh, okay so you see they have it broken from owner um, to customers interior exterior and uh, you know we have the team we have interior photos and stuff like that so what I have going on here is really outperforming a lot of uh, what other people are doing in my industry so that's it and again once again fill up with authentic imaging um, dot com and if you happen to have any questions don't hesitate to reach out to me and um, I look forward to talking to you soon Bye for now.